Hey guys, the 40th anniversary He-Man is just around the corner. It looks fantastic, but if you've only seen the set of images from the first time they announced it, it's already different. And I don't know 100% whether or not I'm on board for the old one that I thought I was going to get, or the new one that it looks like I'm going to get. I'm not 100% I'm not sure where I sit with this. All right, so check this out. Look at this. Uh, this is what I'm talking about, is we're already looking at two different versions of this character. Now, or this, not this character, to be fair, that's not what I meant. This this toy, this toy that's coming out. Now, when they first announced this, and by the way, I'm over here at uh, toyhabits, to, toyhabits.com, and of course, my link in the bottom, if you're interested at all, to come look at this with me or whatever. But check this out. These are these are the figures, okay? This is the first one, the first image that we got right here, over here. And then this is the image that came out not too long ago. And I see some differences. The first and most jarring difference is going to come down to the wash. See, here they had like this wash that was on him and it made him kind of look dirty and brought all his muscle muscles and texture out real fine and everything. Looked like he'd been in combat, like he'd already been sweating in the dirt, swinging the sword. He was like battle hardened. He'd already been, he'd already been out there on the field doing what he's doing. And to me personally, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I actually, there's something about that wash on the barbarian characters that I tend to actually like quite a bit. So this, this interested me at first. And then I saw that the new one, the newer version of it, cause they, they had this guy out for pre-order. And then from what I understand, like the pre-orders went down for a little while. And then I don't know if it was a reaction to the fans. Cause it was a big reaction to this, this figure in the way that it looked and people were not happy and yada, yada. Uh, and personally, like I said, I, I actually do like a lot about this guy. Um, but look, then all the pre-orders dropped and then this new image came out and it seems like we're going to get this now. I have a couple of problems and I don't know if they're warranted yet, but personally, and it could be the pictures, personally, I think the color on the cloth I think the color on the metal, I think the color on the emblem, I think the color on the belt, I think these are all a little brighter, toy bright, which does match up to the original toy. I get that. But I liked this metal sheen color here, and I liked the dark cloth, and I liked the darker belt, and I liked the wash body look. I actually did. I actually preferred that in everything that I'm seeing. And these could be color differentials just because of the pictures. There's another picture down here that kind of shows off the two images as well. But like I said, this could be a this could be a color grade thing by the images. Now the other thing that I see is I believe that the shield was a little darker and hence a little more reflective. Here it's a little brighter and a little more plastic. Personally, this is what I'm seeing. Um, like I said, I believe the belt is a way too bright, like uh cartoon bright where this is very much like a more metal and it shines and I like the body body look and everything. But then I got to looking at this one other thing and I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm imagining this or if this is what I'm seeing, but on this version, the sword looks a little more flat. Could be the picture, but it looks a little more flat and not as brought out as this. This sword seemed a little more rounded. The hilt seemed a little better. This seems a little more like it's a flat. It's, and maybe these, these are all visual things. This could all very much be that I'm just looking at it from picture quality to picture quality because the axes, when I look at them, I'm, as far as I can tell, the axes are the same. So maybe the weapons and the shield, most of this is the same. And really all we're seeing is a difference in the wash because he's going to be more this instead of more that. But then I can't help but feel like, and this could be zoom factors or something. Is he a little bulkier? Is he bigger than this? 
Am I imagining that? Is he taking a little more space in the box than he was going to take in the box? Is that good? Is that what we were looking for? Maybe. Maybe for some people that's exactly what they were looking for. But I personally thought that the idea for this was to kind of bring out the original He-Man in the new Masterverse style. And to me, that's what this one looks like. That's what the washed one looks like. This one, to me, seems like it harkens even farther back to really bring out the toy edge. And if that's what you're looking for, because that's what it is and that's what it was, then that's fine as well. All in all, the Masterverse line is fantastic. It really is. Like, I'm really looking forward to picking up a Viking He-Man and things like that. And everything about this has been great. It really has. Like, they're saying that there's an updated head sculpt, and I do kind of see this. Like I said, I think this He-Man was slimmer. And I'm noticing this one seems wider. Like, his face seems bigger. His chest seems the littlest bit bigger. Everything about him, and it could be the wash. The wash could add a slimming effect to the other one. I'm not sure. But this one seemed darker. This one seems brighter, because it is, because of the wash, but also on the metal. And I also noticed that the head seems bigger. The hair is more... Not not like this one. This one, I actually like the fact that the hair was kind of dirty and matted. And then this one seems... I don't know. It does seem like he is bigger than he was going to be. Says, update, no wash, original with wash. I personally liked this wash, and I kind of wish they'd have given me the choice between the both of them. And who knows? Maybe had they given the choice between the both of them, maybe they'd have got a lot of people that would have just simply bought both of them. But... I understand painting costs, machining costs, and things like that. They have to pick the one they're going to go with. Now, I had a group, and this is the only reason that I even knew about this, that this update was taking place because of this, this group that I was in was like, hey guys, Entertainment Earth is offering the He-Man right now for, uh, for pre-order. He comes out September. And I was like, sick. Tried to go on there to find it, and I couldn't find it. The only thing I could find was a list of like a pack where for $100 you could buy the next wave so you could get all of it, which is cool, I guess, but that's $100 as opposed to the 24 25 to be fair. And of course, with shipping and things like that, we already know we're we planned to spend about 30 bucks. But what I'm saying is that personally, I would have preferred just buying one figure because that's that's what I can do right now. That's just the way it is. And so my preferred store is the Big Bad Toy Store. And I got bad news for you. If you're if you try to do this, if you try to do this and you click on it, you'll get nothing. Uh it's not there. It just leads you to a this thing is gone link, basically. I haven't tried this link because I've never bought anything from them. And I don't know, you know, so that's just the way it is. But yeah. And then, of course, it claims that there are Amazon and things like that. So we have options. Uh, look around your options. Good luck to you. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, as far as I've noticed, Big Bad Toy Store had it up for like two days at max. And I don't even think it was actually two days. I think it was like a day. And then that was the end of it. So yeah, basically, uh, good luck to you if you're looking for it. And then that's the way it is sometimes with these things. Sometimes these things come out and they're very cool, but you have a very limited window to get your hands on it. And if you don't, uh, we already know what we're going to pay on that. Like we know we're not stupid. We know exactly what that's going to come down to if you have to do it that way. Because it's going to cost you. Aftermarket for this thing is going to be ridiculous. I mean, it is. I mean, I've already found them in pre-orders, by the way. They're already in pre-orders selling as high as $55. $55. That's not the actual figure. That's a pre-order of the figure. And let's be honest about what we're going through right now. Uh, pre-orders aren't even guaranteed. 
they're not. There's a there's a heavy chance that you could try to order a pre-order and you could get nothing. They could just cancel the pre-order on you. So like it really kind of sucks because this next wave is so good. Like it's so good. So many of them that I see in this wave of stuff that's coming out right now. I mean, we got a She-Ra that looks fantastic coming out. We got a Hordak that looks fantastic coming out. We got a King He-Man that looks absolutely terrific that's coming out. Like there's so much coming to the Masterverse line right now that is fantastic and hard to get. Some of it is hard to get. I mean, you gotta, you gotta really bounce. You gotta, you gotta pounce on the pre-orders like, uh, entertainment earth. If I clicked it right now, it's, uh, like I said, yeah, the only thing I'm seeing here, and I know I haven't switched the screen back or nothing like that, but the only thing I see here is, uh, you can buy the four pack and that's, that's not what we're looking for. So that doesn't help you. And then the other thing that comes up is Big Bad Toy Store, which is literally a page not found. It finds nothing. So it's, you can't get it from there. And then the Amazon listing that takes you to the pre-order, um, that's also only partially a thing. So on this little thing, if you were to click pre-order, it could take you to Ed, uh, Zed Collectibles. Zed Collectibles is claiming that they have it at like $36.99. Um, maybe. Maybe you might get lucky there. Who knows? Uh, the Amazon listing, however, has nothing in terms of the buy it now option. There's no, there's no buy button. However, if you skip the buy button, which I, I actually advise a lot of people get used to just going to see all buying options because a lot of the times the buy option that they give you is not necessarily the best deal that you can shop for. Always make sure to click that because you never know what you're going to come across. Uh, Amazon listing has it at 55 right now already. They say that they have it ready. You can pre-order it, but it's, it's already double the value of its original asking price. And it hasn't even come out yet, but it'll come out this September and they know that and the pre-orders and everything. And it, like, it's just crazy. And it's temporarily out of, it's temporarily out of stock in a lot of other places as well already. And I didn't see it. I, I tried to go, I tried to go and look for it on like Mattel and I didn't see it there. It's, uh, it's already looking like one of those things that's going to be hard to get. And if you have to pay aftermarket, that's going to be rough. So what I'm hoping is that this is part of the Masterverse line. Okay. And if it's part of the Masterverse line, like the other items have been part of the Masterverse line, then, then maybe we just wait. We just wait. Um, I would, I would personally, and man, I would, I would hate to give you wrong information because if you miss out, you miss out and you're not going to get it. But I would, like I said, I would hate to give wrong information, but the other Masterverse stuff from what I've witnessed in Masterverse anyway, a lot of people thought things like there was this big, big thing about, and I'm of course going to origins at this point, not Masterverse, but origins had a pack come out and it was, uh, it was that pack of evil or whatever. And people were so mad about that. Nobody could get it. And I get it. It looked like, it looked like it was impossible to get and you really wanted it and it looked cool. And it came with Keldor and like, we all wanted it and you couldn't get your hands on it. And then What ended up happening was that this thing was everywhere. Like it's everywhere. I mean, you can go almost anywhere and get one of these now. And heck, a lot of the targets have so many of them that they're just kind of like warming the shelves and they're throwing them to clearance. So you can get them that way. Like there's, a, there's many places where you can pick up one of those now and they were considered to be almost impossible to find. And then there's certain characters that were more deluxe that were a little tougher to get your hands on. Like there was a deluxe battle cat, which originally when I first went looking for it, it was tough to find. Now I see them as shelf warmers at Walmart all the time, all the time. And 
this has been happening with a lot of Masterverse stuff. The first time I went looking for Fisto, Fisto, he's not, personally, personally, I don't even feel like he's that big of a character. I mean, sure, there's a lot of people that like him and everything like that, but in terms of like the absolute hardcore, this is the guy that everybody's chasing, I don't feel like maybe he is. I'm very, I'm still very new to this. I'm not even a year into the whole, you know, Masters thing. But like when I kept coming across it, it didn't seem like he was a chased figure. And all of a sudden, he was gone everywhere. Like, I could not get him at all. He was out of stock all over the place. He was not on the store shelves. I couldn't find him anywhere. And then, kind of out of nowhere, all of a sudden, now he's shelf warming. Like, he's always available and he's on sale and crap. Uh, when I was having trouble finding him, Seth found one for me. And he bought it at 20, he, he bought it at 20 bucks and then not, but literally the next week there were so much of them that they were selling them like nine 99. They were like, please get them out of here. Take Fisto with you. He keeps wanting to fist things like, so the Masterverse stuff so far. Because remember, Viking He-Man was the same way. Viking He-Man and Viking Skeletor, like, people were almost fighting about these things. They wanted these two figures, and they were, they were almost non-existent. Now, I see them, like, if I, if, I go to, if I go to Amazon and I type in Masters of the Universe, and I'm looking to buy something that's, like, 20 bucks or something with, like, one of my, one of my decent checks. Not a thing I've had in, like, four weeks, but you get the idea. When you got a decent check and you can spend some money, you can buy one or two figures, you go on there and every time I've gone on to that site, every time I've gone on to Amazon, those figures are readily available now. Not, not like, oh, there's only four left in stock, like very readily available. You can get them right now. You can get them in such abundance and so easily that my original consideration was to get one of each. Yeah. And then... I got to looking at him, and I would really like to display the Viking He-Man both ways. So I considered buying two of them. And if you did it, it wouldn't be hard to find two of them. It's not, it's not like he's a tucked away, difficult thing. And the other person that I remember who I was having trouble with was um, King Grayskull was really hard to find. When he first came out, he flew off the shelves rapidly. He was nowhere. He was sold out in like, in like a couple of hours, but Masterverse has been pretty good about resupplying. So hoping, cause I, I don't want to pay aftermarket for this. This, this looks like one of the cool, this looks like back when classics ran and I missed out on classics this very much looks like your chance to scoop something up that's on that type of level because the Masterverse stuff that's coming out is fantastic. And some of it very much sits on that level personally for me where it feels like classics. We're getting really awesome characters modernized in beautiful ways and I would love to have them but I would love not to pay the aftermarket value of, oh, you want that He-Man? He's like 180 bucks. That's not, that's ridiculous. And that's the reason why when they announced She-Ra, I did pre-order, I pre-ordered her the day of. I don't have her yet. I don't even think she's out yet, to be fair. But she's coming from Big Bad Toy Store. I snapped her up like that. Like literally day one, the second they announced it, I was like, ugh, if I don't, she's gone. And she's going to be one of those ones that because of the way the rules are written and He-Man and She-Ra are not allowed to appear together and they're, and like there's that weird thing about the toys and the She-Ra thing just basically doesn't really happen in the He-Man lines anymore. She's, she's kind of a rare figure. I was like, if I pass on her, she's gone. And once she hits the aftermarket, she's going to be impossible to get without burning like $200, $300 in a single sitting. So I'm doing it. And I did. So I spent the money. 
Uh, I, I spent the money and I've just been waiting. It's a, it's a pre-order. It'll get here when it gets here. I actually got a couple of things on pre-order from Big Bad Toy Store that are spaced out pretty decently that I'm just waiting for. I got Hordak, I got She-Ra, and I got a, uh, I got a, 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 a Tila with Zor that's going to be pretty cool. And I also got, I put the money down on a statue. So I got like four items in the long run that are spaced out pretty decently. I think one doesn't, one doesn't show up till like September. One shows up sometime in like, uh, December one, I think is even like next year. So yeah, they're, they're spaced pretty evenly out here. So I'm just waiting on them, but, um, I'm going to cross my fingers on this one. I'm going to hope that I didn't miss my chance on this guy because he looks great and I do want him no matter which version I end up getting. Um, I'm sure the old, the, the, the wash version is not going to be a thing at all. Now it's only going to be the other one that I, that I was talking about, which that's fine. He still looks great. He still looks fantastic. I'd still love to have him and I'll use the Viking He-Man to create a more classic He-Man and kind of get what I was hoping for anyway. So yeah, uh, that's my thoughts. I just thought this was cool, and I wanted to talk a little bit about Masterverse and buying and give you an idea that there are things coming and everything like that, and really just kind of touch base and talk to you guys again a little bit about some 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 stuff here, because uh, I noticed that for about like a week and a half, I kind of cut out. Um, there was a lot going on. I was not posting. I was not talking toys. I was not showcasing anything. I haven't even been on TikTok lately. Uh, so I haven't been doing much of anything, but I wanted to touch base and kind of say, Hey guys, I'm still here. I'm still collecting. Of course I'm still collecting and I'm still working on that project, but there's going to be an update with that too. I'm not doing the toy, the toy show. Um, some information came across about that shop and it's not, it's not bad things. It's not like, Oh my God, there's negative stuff. I won't possibly do a show with him. It's not that, um, he's closing. And so he's going to do this toy show and then he's going to do, he's going to go, he's going to be gone after that. And although I think that I have the material to do it, I think that personally, I would rather be part of his last toy show as a customer, if that makes any sense. I just want to go, I want to enjoy myself. I want to check out some toys. I want to buy some toys. I want to talk to some people. I want to meet other collectors like me and maybe even do another episode talking the toy show, just like I did last time and just kind of enjoy myself because if this is the end of his shop, his shop has been tremendous. It has, it's been absolutely wonderful. Every time I film there, every time I've bought something from him, every time I've had a chance to sit down and talk to the guy, it's an honest shame to hear that his place is closing down and I would just like to, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I, I guess I'm saying I'd like to maintain my customer relation with him. And I guess that's it. I'm not, I'm not doing the toy show. I am probably going to, uh, there's like a flea market that we do, uh, on, uh, every other month around here, I'm probably going to get in on that and set up a table. So one way or another, I'm going to try to get into the idea of selling and moving, moving my stuff through my collection and kind of get a little bit of money back into the collection as I move things in and out of the collection and things like that. I'm interested in that moving into that, even if I move into online sales and things like that. But regardless, I think I've yammered enough. So I'm going to get out of here and I will do an update talking about other things. And I've got other stuff to cover too. Like I actually, I picked up a new Wonder Woman to go on the shelf and whatnot. And she's pretty cool. And I have to talk a little bit about her because there are problems with her for as much as I like her. And I also got to test out things like I got the new rotating display and things like that. And I still have to, still have to clear the shelves in terms of, uh, in terms of what stays and what goes things of that thing, things of that nature. And I did, uh, I did make a bunch of those picture frame things like I was talking about. So I'm still here. I'm still collecting. Haven't disappeared. Wanted to touch base, figured it's be a good excuse to talk about the 40th anniversary. He man. Now I'm gonna get out of here. I have spoken. Take what you will from it.